Hey guys! Have you ever wanted to know how to speed up on the math section or how it's possible to completely whip through an SAT section at the speed of light or at least as fast as I talk? I know some of you in some of our videos have commented that when I explain math questions, I take so long that you never have that long on the real test. But in this video, I'm gonna to prove to you that you can do math fast. I'm then going to go and annotate all of the work that I do verbally, but I'm not gonna talk while I do the work because if I do that, I will run out of time. So I'm gonna do all the problems super fast, and then I will add my vocal commentary later, but you're going to experience it all at once, so get ready. My name's Brooke. I've been coaching the SAT and the ACT for over a decade and a half. I scored perfectly on the SAT math section as a student. I've also scored perfectly on it as an adult. I've probably scored perfectly on this test more than I would like to admit, to be honest, on, on this math section. We also have an online course for the SAT and the ACT, as well as a couple of math books for the ACT math section. If you want to supercharge your math, you can definitely check those out. So let's jump into this. I'm gonna be taking the math section from October 2020 because it's a test I don't know super well. I know a lot of the older ones extremely well. I may have gone over, full disclosure, I may have gone over a problem or two on here with a student in the past, but I don't have nearly as much exposure to this as most of the SATs in the market, so that's what I'm using. Let's do this, people. So here we are. I'm starting at zero. On your mark, get set. Let's go. Okay, so here, as I kind of skim through this, I see that this is a classic word problem. We have $60 per day. Whenever I have per, I think that's probably the rate or the M and the MX plus B form. 25 is going to be the fixed amount, so I'm going to go 60D plus 25, and that's going to be the expression. 300, 25 is what it equals, but minus 25 is 300. Divide by 60, I get 5. Number two. Okay, here, I actually messed up on this one, and I thought it was multiplied together, but the strategy still holds, which is I just do the middle terms or the last terms first. Um, I then figured out that I have to add them, so it's actually negative 5x. I'm looking for negative 5x. This one has negative 5x, but it doesn't have the 16 or not. I have to figure that out. Um, so I do the negative 4 um, plus 4, and that's 0. Um, the function is defined by this. All I have to do is plug in 2. 3 to the 2 is 9. Um, here, it's asking for f of 0. That means x is 0. That's negative 8. Negative 8. Done. Okay, here I see this expression, um, h of x is uh, negative 2, so I plug in negative 2, and I get um, negative 2, and then I'm going to just subtract that 2, I get um, the negative 4, I'm going to divide, and that's 1, and then I have to add the 2. Um, here I have the 5 and 9, so I'm going to switch over to the other side, I'm going to put 9 fifths in front of the c, um, and then I just have to figure out how to subtract, um, and it was add. Um, the geographer found the land. So here I'm working with the idea that this is in square miles. I'm using my units here to hack this. And the T is in, what is the T in? The T is in total number of residents. So I need per square mile somewhere because that has to cancel. And that's just a trick that I know um, when you have rates. What is the sum of the solutions in the given equation? Um, the sum of the solutions uh, is going to be negative 7 times negative 5 is the, the factored form, but the solution is going to be the opposite sign, so it's going to be positive 12. Okay, here, right triangle, we had 5 eighths was the sine of 1, and the other angle in a right triangle, if it's cosine instead of sine, it's going to be the same number. So that's how I did that one. This one's a little bit trickier. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the slope of this line. I see that this height is 2 and this is 6, so I'm looking for another piece over here where it's um, a 2 to 6 ratio. That's the 1 to 3 ratio, so I'm pretty sure that AC corresponds to... Um, uh, ED. Um, now I'm going to try to figure out what's going on here. This goes, I'm just eyeballing it here. If this is this, this is going to shoot inward because it's um, acute. Um, so I'm trying to figure out what's this doing. So if I go straight down from here, from this one to that one, so that's the same as like drawing this here from this one to that one. So I'm going to go down here. Um, and so I'm going to double this because this was double that uh, ratio wise. If this is three, I want to go six. And that gets me to about um, 10. And I'm just counting out to the 10 to make sure that I'm accurate. And so now I'm looking for a y value of 10. That's the only one with a y value of negative 10, rather. Um, sorry, absolute value. I'm going fast. Um, which of the following is the value of y in the solution to the system above? So isolate to eliminate. That means I want to get x by itself. So I'm going to isolate the x. x equals y minus 3. Um, I'm now going to plug that in. 2 times y minus 3 minus y equals 0. 2y um, minus 6 minus y equals 0. Um, the y becomes 1y, and then y equals 6. Done. Okay. D. Um, um, so here what I'm doing is this is exponential growth and it's T hours and then I want to replace it with minutes. So if this is in hours, I want to replace it with minutes. It's going to be minutes divided by 60 because if M equals 60, it's going to give me a one in the position where I want a T to be one. And so I'm looking for everything is identical except for it's M over 60 and that's A. Um, number 13, 
uh, I only want exactly one solution and it could not be the same slope if you have one solution, so three is the answer. Here, how many solutions does the equation this have? So I'm just gonna expand it. X squared minus four X equals X squared minus one. That's a special product, and that's how I get that so fast. The X squareds cancel. Um, that's a typical linear equation. It'll have one solution. I don't have to even do the uh, extra work. Okay, here, I wanna probably move this under the radical because I see everything here. I'm not even really reading the question. Everything here is um, basically the same, um, all in one piece. Um, there's not two exponents, so I need to get that under the root. So I take this to the n power so that I can bury it under something to the nth root, and then those n's cancel. I get 4 times 3, and that's 12. Okay. Whew. All right. Here it says there's several values. A linear value that represents the relationship is shown where x equals k. I'm really looking for the equation here. So if x equals k where k is a constant, what is the value of k? Well, the constant is obviously 2 because 2 repeats multiple times. It's got to be 2. Okay. Here we have this equation. I'm going to subtract 4x. I get 8x equals 2. Um, what is the value of x? 1 fourth. Okay, here um, I have cosine b that's adjacent over hypotenuse. 6 over 10 is 3 over 5. Done. Whew. System of linear equations has no solution. That means they're parallel lines. So let's look for the slope of this line. Um, slope of this line is going to be um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I'm checking, you have to be really careful on these that, the, that it's not like by 2s, that it's counting by 1s, and it is counting by 1s. So it's 5 over 4. It's a positive slope. I can see that because it's upward sloping. For the exponential function above, this one's a little bit tougher. We have this function, and there's some points. So I'm just going to plug them into the equation. I'm trying to skim the, the um, question as fast as possible. So we get 9 equals p r to the x, and then I'm going to make the x actually 0. And then when that's 0, r to the 0 is going to be 1 because anything to the 0 power is 1. So I get 9 equals p. So I get 9 equals 9 to the rx. Um, wait a minute, kind of, but I think the 9 doesn't carry over. Um, I need to make that a 1. Okay, wait. 12 equals 9r to the x, and the x here should be 1 because I'm taking it from these values here. Okay, and then I just divide by 9, and I get 4 thirds. Done. 5 minutes and 20 seconds. <laughs> Ooh. There you go, kids. Five minutes and 20 seconds. Should we check it? Let's check it. I'm going to grade it. Do, 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 do. We have a winner, folks. <laughs> So I got them all right. So that's how to do a no calculator section in five minutes and 20 seconds. I hope you enjoyed that. Some of you are like, Brooke, you went way too fast. Exactly. So now you know in all my other videos when you guys complain and you're like, Brooke, you're too slow. My test is so fast and you take so long to explain all the questions because I see you in the comments. I see you. I see you and I respect you. And that's why I made this video for you. You're welcome. If you guys have any questions on what the heck I was doing, feel free to post in the comments because I realize that explaining things at this hyper warp speed clip is going to be really difficult and a lot of you are going to be like, what the heck? I hear you. Ask in the comments and maybe some of your buddies on this channel can help explain things to you or I can explain too. I'm happy to respond to any of your comments if that was confusing. I hope you guys in any case like this video. Maybe it was kind of entertaining. Like, subscribe, follow, and check out our courses at supertutortv.com. Thanks for watching and good luck on your SAT if you're taking it this weekend, guys. Ciao.